Imagine a moment in time, a moment that might have rewritten the entire narrative of our universe. Picture the year 2008. The world was abuzz with the inauguration of a scientific marvel, the Large Hadron Collider. Nestled beneath the Swiss-French border, this colossal machine was about to embark on a journey to the very heart of reality. This was no ordinary machine, it was designed to smash particles together at near-light speeds, a feat that would allow us to peek into the very fabric of our existence. The very first collision was set to unlock secrets hidden since the dawn of time. But what if it did more than that? What if in that instance, something extraordinary was created? Let's delve into a thought-provoking theory. In the heat and energy of that first collision, amid the birth and death of countless particles, a new atom might have been born. Not just any atom, but one so massive, so peculiar, that our reality couldn't contain it. This hypothetical atom, born in the crucible of human ingenuity, might have had the power to alter the universe itself. The notion is staggering. How could an atom, however strange, hold such power? Yet in the realm of quantum mechanics, stranger things have been proposed. If this atom was too massive for our reality, it might have triggered a cosmic shift, a change so profound that our universe as we know it could have ceased to exist. But if our universe was destroyed, where are we now? Could we have transitioned to a parallel universe, one almost identical but subtly different? Could this explain the sense of unease some of us feel, the nagging suspicion that something isn't quite right with the world? Could this singular moment have triggered a chain of events beyond our comprehension? In the next scenes we'll delve deeper into this theory, exploring the implications and the tantalizing possibility that we are living in a world not entirely our own. Before we continue this thrilling journey into the depths of the universe, let's take a moment to pause and reflect. If you're enjoying this exploration into the unknown, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Each interaction helps us reach more curious minds like yours, eager to delve into the mysteries of existence. And if you're captivated by this theory and want to keep exploring with us, hit that subscribe button. Join us as we venture further into this thought-provoking hypothesis, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and our place in it. This journey of discovery is far from over. We're just getting started. Now let's dive back into our investigation, exploring the tantalizing possibility of a universe-altering event and its implications. What if our universe as we knew it ceased to exist in 2008? A question as perplexing as it is exciting. So let's dive headfirst into this intriguing idea. Imagine a cosmic event so powerful, it literally rips our universe apart. But instead of ending up in a void of nothingness, we transition into a parallel universe. Yes, you heard it right, a parallel universe. Now if you're wondering what a parallel universe is, think of it as a mirror image of our universe where everything is almost identical, but there are subtle differences that can throw you off. Let's simplify this concept. Picture an infinite number of sheets of paper stacked on top of each other. Each sheet represents a universe, and the stack as a whole represents the multiverse, a collection of countless universes existing side by side. So here's the theory. In 2008, our universe was destroyed due to an event so colossal that it was too much for our reality to handle. But instead of vanishing into oblivion, we slid into the next sheet, the next universe. It's like moving into a new house that's identical to your old one, but the furniture is arranged slightly differently. You might not notice it at first, but once you do, it's all you can think about. This theory suggests that we're residing in a parallel universe, a reality that's not our original home. It's a concept that shakes the very foundation of our understanding of the universe and our place in it. But what could cause such a massive shift? What could be the catalyst for this universe-altering event? Well, some speculate it was the activation of CERN's Large Hadron Collider, the first collision might have birthed an atom so massive our universe couldn't contain it. Could this be true? Could we unknowingly be living in a reality that isn't our original home? It's a theory that opens up a Pandora's box of questions, pushing us to probe deeper into the mysteries of our universe. In this new universe we find echoes of our old reality, a phenomenon now known as the Mandela Effect. Picture this, you have a vivid memory of something happening, only to discover that it never actually occurred at least not in the reality you're currently experiencing, this is the essence of the Mandela Effect. Let's delve into a few well-known examples. Many remember the beloved children's book series about the Berenstein Bears. Yet, if you look now, you'll find it's actually spelled Berenstain. Or consider the famous line, Luke, I am your father, from Star Wars. But if you re-watch the scene, Darth Vader actually says, No, I am your father. These aren't isolated instances. 
There's a litany of such collective misrememberings. From logos and catchphrases to historical events and pop culture trivia, the Mandela Effect presents a reality that's subtly different from our memories. Now in our journey through the cosmic shift it's worth asking, could the Mandela Effect be an aftermath of this cosmic event? Could it be that when our old universe was destroyed and we transitioned to this parallel universe, our memories somehow got jumbled in the process? Imagine our memories as echoes bouncing off the walls of our previous universe, somehow managing to follow us into this new one. They linger, not quite fitting into the reality we now inhabit. These echoes, these ghostly remnants of a universe we once called home, might just be manifesting as the Mandela Effect. In the grand scheme of things, these minor discrepancies may seem insignificant, yet they hold the potential to shatter our understanding of reality, memory, and the universe itself. They challenge our perception, making us question the very fabric of our existence. In this speculative narrative, the Mandela Effect serves as a subtle reminder of the universe we lost, a universe that has left its fingerprints on our collective memory. What if these aren't mere memory lapses but remnants of a universe we once called home? Scene script. Ever felt like your memory of an event doesn't align with the recorded facts? You might be experiencing the Mandela Effect. Picture this. You're absolutely certain your favorite childhood book was about the Berenstain Bears. But when you look it up it's always been the Berenstain Bears. Such discrepancies between our recollections and reality are often chalked up to faulty memory. But what if they're not mistakes at all? What if they're remnants of a reality that once was? Exploring the Mandela Effect is like stepping into a psychological labyrinth, a maze of memory and perception, where fact and fiction intertwine. It's a phenomenon that blurs the line between the scientifically explainable and the inexplicably surreal. And it's not just about pop culture references or brand names, it's about world events, geographical facts and shared experiences that seem to have shifted in our collective memory. This isn't just a matter of misremembering, it's about having vivid, detailed memories of events, places and things that supposedly never were. It's about the unsettling feeling of finding out your recollections don't match the official narrative. It's about wondering if your memories are wrong, or if the world around you is. Some believe these experiences are a psychological curiosity, a testament to the fallibility of human memory. But others propose a more tantalizing theory. Could these memories be echoes from a parallel universe, lingering traces of a reality we once knew? Imagine for a moment that your memories are not mistakes, but messages. Messages from a universe that no longer exists, a universe replaced by the one we inhabit now. Could the Mandela Effect be a hint of a past reality, a whisper from a parallel universe that slipped through the cracks of our perception? The idea is mind-bending to say the least, but isn't it also a fascinating thought to entertain, to ponder the possibilities of parallel universes and alternate realities, to question the nature of our existence and the fabric of our reality? Could your memories be a portal to a universe that no longer exists? As we stand on the brink of this unfathomable mystery, the question remains, what really happened in 2008? Did the activation of CERN's Large Hadron Collider trigger a cosmic shift that altered our reality? Or is the notion of such an event merely the product of our collective fascination with the unknown? This speculative narrative takes us on a journey through science and imagination, proposing that a peculiar atom, birthed from the collider's first collision, was too massive for our reality. It suggests that this atom's creation led to the destruction of our universe, catapulting us into a neighboring parallel universe. This theory extends to suggest that this cosmic shift may be responsible for the Mandela Effect, that intriguing phenomenon where a group of people remember something differently than how it occurred. It presents the possibility that these altered memories are not mistakes or confusions, but remnants of a past reality, echoes from the universe we once inhabited. But let's step back for a moment and acknowledge the speculative nature of this narrative. The scientific community does not endorse this theory. It remains an exploration of, what if, a journey into the realm of speculative fiction. The aim here is not to posit this as truth, but to provoke thought, to stir curiosity, and to celebrate the enthralling intersection of science and imagination. Even in its improbability this theory serves a purpose. It invites us to question, to ponder and to marvel at the mysteries of the universe. It encourages us to think beyond what we know, to entertain the impossible, and to engage in an imaginative quest for understanding. Whether this theory intrigues or unsettles you, 
it undeniably sparks a sense of wonder about the enigmatic universe we inhabit.